I'm just now realizing how many chickens we have. It's crazy. For the past two nights, we've had a black astrolorp hen sitting. <coughs> Come on. There we go. Sitting on eggs. And she puffs up at me and tries to peck me whenever I gather them each night. So we think she's broody. We have a white leghorn hen who was kind of broody, but then she then she decided not to be broody. So we've been waiting for a little bit to make sure this hen is actually broody. And she shouldn't be here now. She should be eating her morning meal. And then she'll come. It's this nest box. And right now she only has three fake eggs. This is an avocado pit. And then these are two ping pong balls because I gathered all her real ones last night. So if she's on her eggs the rest of today and this evening, then we're going to put her in one of the brooders so she can be alone and safe and have her own special food and water. And we'll give her some eggs and then that way the other chickens won't keep laying eggs so there's like eggs that have been incubated like every new day there's more so we'll just give her a batch and then let her incubate those and hatch them and raise them if she wants to right now we have these two brooders not divided so it's one big one for the pullets they were using this brooder but we can section this part off because they're not really using it anymore they've been sleeping on top of it which is why it's all poopy so they've graduated the brooder finally. Good job, babies. And the reason we're going to do it at evening or nighttime is so that the stress of moving and stuff won't bug her as much. When it's night, she's tired and sleepy, and then we leave, and she just goes back to sleep. And if we do it in the daytime, there's more of a risk of her, oh, being disturbed, and then she's out of her nest, and then she's not brooding anymore. So we want to do it at night so she's sleepy and tired and goes back to sleep. And so accepts this new place as her in her new clutch of eggs as her new broody spot and she stays broody full term and hatches babies. Oh, on second thought we could put her in here and put the turkeys in the coop. We need the turkeys to go in the coop soon anyway because we want them to get used to the coop as their home. So the turkeys would be in the coop brooder for a while so they get used to that as their home. And then we let them out free range and then they come back to the coop instead of coming back to this brooder which is outside the coop. But we were waiting for the pullets to get out of the brooder in the coop, and now they are. So instead of moving the broody hen into the coop brooder, and then later deciding we want to move the turkeys in so we move her over here, why don't we just move her over here for starters? I think that's a better idea. It's nighttime now, and I'm sorry I have the red light on. It's supposed to help keep the bugs away from the flashlight, and so far it's working. So I ran out of time tonight to move the turkeys in broody hen, but I am going to start having her hatch eggs under her, like have them incubated for a certain. Up to this point I've been taking them away from her every night so they didn't get fertilized enough to start developing so we could still eat them. But I'm gonna leave them under her. I'm gonna gather all the brown eggs in the coop tonight. I'm gonna mark them with number one so we know this was day one of incubation and then if you add any more under her in the next few days, like the second day I'll write number two on them, third day I'll write number three. We have used Sharpie on the eggs before and it doesn't leach into the egg and kill the chicken or anything so it's fine we're gonna leave her in the nest box tonight and then let chickens lay eggs like when she gets out to eat then other chickens will lay eggs where she is we're only gonna do brown ones though we do have two white chickens but we don't want that breed so we're just gonna do the brown ones and all the brown eggs we have are all of one breed so i'm gonna do that tonight and that's the plan. And then tomorrow evening, we'll move her into the brooder so she can be separate. And then she'll have eggs to sit on. And no other chickens will be laying eggs on top of hers. And it'll be great. But tonight, we can't do that. But I'm going to start her incubating. But she's just going to be in here. So I just put three eggs by her. There's one that's already under. And then one, two. So hopefully, if she's really broody, she'll bring them in and them under her but I am kind of bugging her with the light and stuff so they each have a number one marked on them we have this egg too that's also brown it's it's just kind of small and I'm not entirely sure if a chick would hatch out of it because it's so small so this one we're gonna take inside and eat but these ones are all big and normal looking and they're clean so hopefully in about three weeks we'll have baby chicks from these three. Oh, and I totally forgot to check by the goats in the goat hay feeder so we have two and they both look brown. Hard to tell, but... Alright, I'll mark these and then put them under the broody hen too. So I just came out and it looks like she already has... There were two eggs right here. Now they're completely gone. She moved them under her. Let's see. 
We have these two. It's gonna be really hard though, cause she likes to peck people. So let's see. This might go better on the camera. All right, ready? Ah. Oh, scary. Ah, scary. Two. Okay. Marking the eggs is purely optional. It's by no means necessary. I just like to do it. It's super easy and fast, and it'll be easiest to do right now. There's no harm in doing it. It'll just be nice to be able to tell them apart. If I need to, it's not necessary. We've hatched plenty of eggs plenty of times without knowing which ones were laid when, but it might be helpful, and it's not really hard. So that's why I decided to do it this time. All right, Mommy, we'll leave you alone. Finally. Bye. It's the next morning, and Mama still hasn't gotten off her nest to go eat food. Hopefully she does soon. So I think the last clip you saw of me was Friday, and it's, and it's now Sunday evening. Saturday, we were really late and really busy. Didn't get a chance to do the broody hen or move her, and it turns out she started laying in this nest box. So Friday she was in this one, and then Saturday she was in this one, and then now it's Sunday she's back in this one. So all the eggs that were under her didn't get sat on for a whole day, and then she was kind of in this one again Saturday later that day, so I don't know what was going on with her, but I'm not entirely sure. She sat on them all day, so just to be safe, we threw out all the eggs that she was sitting on. We're gonna eat them if they are not too far along in, in their development. So we're starting off from square one again. I already collected all of the brown eggs. I think we have four. I marked them with a number one because it's day one of collecting eggs. We're gonna put her in the used to be turkey brooder on her new eggs. And then tomorrow, if we get more brown eggs, then we'll mark those day two, put them under her. And then day three, add more until we have a good amount under her. I believe Astolorps, it's suggested eight to 10. If you have too many eggs under a chicken, then it's possible that not all of them will hatch because she shuffles around eggs, some to be in the middle some days, and then some on the edge. So if there's too many, she can't keep them warm enough, so then all of them are shuffled around and are too cool to hatch properly. But then too few, and it's kind of a waste. If you, if you have room for more eggs, why not put more eggs? So we're going to put about maybe eight or ten, maybe more like eight, under her eventually. And hopefully she stays broody, and some of them are fertile, and she hatches babies for us. Okay, I've got the brooder all set up. We have these blocked off temporarily, so she just has this area to be in so she can get settled easily. She has her water and food, and I made a little depression in there, and I have all four of her eggs. So we're going to move her in, and hopefully it goes okay. Okay, I just set her on the eggs, and she settled down. Like, right away, I set her down. She clucked a little bit and just sat down, so that's super awesome. See if we can give you a better look at her. It's kind of dark, but... So she's acting like she's right at home, which I'm super glad about. Um, we'll check on her tomorrow and see how she's doing. It is common for them to get off of their nest and drink food and water, stretch their legs a little bit, go to the bathroom every once in a while, so I don't expect her to be on the nest all the time, but most of the time she should be on her babies. Okay, good night. Oh, and we won't forget to lock it, let's see. There. Okay, so she just got off her nest. She's trying to get out, which isn't to be unexpected. Might take her a bit to settle down. Hopefully she settles back onto her eggs. And as she's moving though, I'm noticing that she has a red band on her leg, which means she was broody last year. That's good that she's getting broody again this year. That's why we kept her, even though she was kind of older and not laying as many eggs. We do want lots of broody hens. But hopefully she settles down. Maybe we'll check on her later tonight. She should settle right back down on her eggs. Um, even though this isn't the best behavior, I'm not super surprised. So, alright, girly, hopefully you settle down soon. And then I'll mark the date on my calendar. It's the next morning and Mama's on her nest. That's a good sign. Hopefully it keeps going like this. It's the afternoon and yay, Mama's still on her nest. What a good girl you are, Mommy. What a good girl, thank you. Thank you so much. It's Monday evening. I took all of the brown eggs that were laid today and marked them with a number two because today is day two of gathering eggs. I put them near the broody hen I tried pushing them under her a little bit, but that didn't really work super well. So hopefully she will roll them under her. Um, it's common for booty hens to do that oftentimes. So I'll check back later and see if she's done anything with them. And hopefully she accepts them just fine. And then I believe we'll have eight under her, if I'm remembering correctly. It's the next morning, Tuesday morning. And she's still on her nest. Looks like she's built up a little bit of, of bedding to be like a more nest-like 
So, yay! It is Thursday and Mama Hen is still on her nest and doing super well. So I'm going to sign off for now and see you when the chicks start hatching. Bye!